Hello, my name is Andy Atherton, an automation specialist with Kendall Electric. I am excited to demonstrate one of my favorite detectors in the Visor Sensor Config software, the Contour Detector. Sensor Part has a variety of powerful detectors for detection, inspection, measurement, positioning, identification, and color detection. The contour detector serves multiple purposes including detection, inspection, location, and identification based on a consistently shaped object. The contour detector is trained on the object and at runtime provides a match score of how well the current image matches the trained model as well as position information. It can tolerate variations in location, rotation, and size for those applications where position information is important or size may vary. The contour detector can also locate multiple instances of an object and report the match score, location and orientation, and sort them according to various criteria including score, position in X or Y axes, angle, and size. Let's look at how this detector could be used and how to set it up. First, let's look at some images and see what we are trying to inspect. We have several samples of two different parts and we want to identify which part is present. With the detector step selected, start by clicking New, select a contour detector, and then click OK. The yellow rectangle is the search region and the green rectangle is the model region. Next, resize the search region to include the area in the field of view where the part could be located. Then, resize the model region to include the entire part or a desired portion of the part. Once the detector is added and region set, the detector parameters must be set. By default, the match score acceptance threshold ranges from 50 to 100, the angle range from negative 20 to plus 20 degrees, and the scale range is from 1 to 1. This part can be in any orientation, but because it has a high degree of symmetry, we could probably leave the angle range at the default. We can also leave the threshold and scale at the default settings but these can be easily adjusted depending on the parts and the goal of the inspection. Clicking on the Edit Contour button opens an editor where you can mask out parts of the model that are not relevant or detract from achieving the match scores needed to perform your inspection. The more you mask out, the more precise your model will be so that parts at runtime will be subject to tighter constraints. Some applications may require no masking at all and in others you may want to mask very precisely. There are various shapes you can select. Square, circle, and line. We'll choose circle. You can adjust the size of the masking tool making it smaller for more precise masking or larger for gross masking. You can add or remove pixels, add or remove all pixels, and zoom in or out on the model depending on the size and desired detail. Let's mask out some pixels that we don't want in our model. When you're done, click OK to accept the changes. Next, rename the detector to Part 1, and then duplicate it, and name the new detector Part 2. Now each detector will pass when the appropriate part is found. Adjust the model region of the new detector to the second part style and edit the contour as needed. On the contour optimization tab you have settings to allow for variation in the found edges in the model and the runtime image. The min contrast pattern setting defines the minimum amount of contrast for an edge to be considered part of the model. The auto setting determines this value based on the intensity 
and contrast in the selected model. Unchecking Auto allows manual setting of the contrast. The Min Contrast Image setting defines the minimum amount of contrast for an edge to be part of the runtime contour. The auto setting determines this value based on the intensity and contrast of each runtime image. Unchecking auto allows for manual setting and fixes the setting for all images. The edge transition specifies which edge transitions are considered at runtime. The fix setting allows only the type of edge transition between the trained model and background. The fix plus inverted allows for the type of edge transition between the trained model and background, as well as the inverse of that type of edge transition. Flexible allows for any edge transition between the model and the background. This would be appropriate for noisy backgrounds. Algorithms that search for a match to a trained model, such as contour or pattern match, do more calculations and are therefore processor intensive and time consuming. If you have a limited inspection time, then you may need to optimize the process using settings on the speed tab. The angle step setting specifies the sensitivity to changes in angle during the search process through the specified angle range. Unchecking auto and changing this to a higher number will speed up the process but reduces the precision by which the object is found. Using auto determines a step increment based on the top model. The scale step setting specifies the sensitivity to changes in size during the search process through the specified scale range. Again, unchecking auto and setting this to a higher value speeds up the search but reduces the precision by which the object is found. If the min and max scale settings are the same, this has no effect. Checking auto determines a value based on the top model. Search levels specifies the number of searches, starting with a lower resolution image and increasing with each subsequent search to find possible candidates. The accordance level sets the match score threshold for each candidate in each search. A higher number of search levels is faster, but can prematurely eliminate candidates. The same is true for accordance level. Balancing these two optimizes the speed for each application. The next time you need to locate or inspect a consistently shaped object, or identify one object from another, try the contour detector. You may be surprised by how well it works and how much faster it runs than a pattern match detector. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information about Sensorpart Visor, please contact your Kendall account manager or automation specialist. Please visit our website at kendallelectric.com to find the location nearest you. Stay connected to us by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us on Facebook or LinkedIn. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next Kendall Quick Connection video.